Ashley and I are up early this morning and um, she gets to go to cheer camp. She's been fighting a cold all weekend, so hopefully she's feeling better as evidence of all the pills. I'm gonna have her take one of these ones today. She's very excited because one, it's her, her competitive squad. Well, it's mostly her competitive squad that we went to Japan with. And then other kids, like our neighbor is actually in it. Like there's no hair return you, so I can go to the kitchen. It's just a stunt and tumble camp. So it's for like all the ages that can go to cheer with any of the squads. Well, that's helpful. Um, okay, that didn't get started, so a few more. Anyway, so she's excited because like she gets to go be with like our neighbor who's younger than her. She gets to like see her other friends again. You know, she's been done with that squad for a couple months now, most of the summer. And so she's excited to like go and be with them again. But also because we get to pick one of them up. <laughs> one of them, her mom, well, her dad works and then her mom works, but she was supposed to be in New York this week. And so we had arranged for me to go pick her up and uh, and then take her back home so that grandma didn't have to, which was totally fine. Ashley was very excited about it. The girl was very excited about it. And then thanks to Hurricane Debbie, mom's trip was canceled. She texted me this morning. She's like, I'm not going on my trip, but I just informed my daughter <laughs> that I would in fact be the one taking her to, to this stunt camp today, this week. And she's like, no mom, no. <laughs> Ashley's mom is taking me. I do not have anything to do with you today. Did you know that? Did Gracie tell you? I saw the text. But... Yeah. She's like, I don't want you to take me. <laughs> so she's like, that? do you mind coming and getting her? Cause like, you don't have to. I'm like, you don't have to do that. And I was like, given how long Ashley's been awake this morning, and the fact that you were, weren't you on the call with her just now? No, I was on, I'm on the phone with Willa. Oh, you are? Oh, because Willa's in Maine. Yeah, so Willa's it's 9 a.m. for her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's later than 9 a.m. for Willa. Yeah, it's like 10. Yeah. I have to go let Donna. Willa's in Maine, her other friend. Anyway, they're all very excited um, to be together the extra time this morning. And so, I know, in my mind, it's like an extra play date, an extra hour of time <laughs> for them to be together. So I don't mind at all. And uh, so anyway, that's what we're heading out to do. It looks like, like this is how excited she is. Like her lunch is packed. It's 8 a.m. She's been up since probably 6 a.m. She got good sleep, finally. Went to bed with some uh, nighttime cold meds. So she's feeling so much better today than she was all weekend long. All right, it looks like she's out hanging out with Dot. Did you let her? What? Yeah, I will. I'm working on it. Are you with Dot? Yeah. Yeah, go let her out. Okay. It was funny because Jason was out here um, cutting branches, his favorite thing to do in the world. And um, it looks really nice. Let me show you. <laughs> none of the other, none of her sisters actually like doing this. None I know. She's them. like a breed of her own where you've trained her from a young age. Yeah. No, she's not to be out here. No, she's. I put, I put her right back. Okay, get down. Hi. She's going to come looking for Chelsea, though. Yep, she's coming to look for Chelsea. Or she's trying to get some. She was out yesterday while Jason was working out here. He just trimmed the branches and then gave her the scraps. But he was out here working on it. And she just stood at this fence. Like, and, and just... She was good, but she just makes her little noises. And as soon as we brought Chelsea out here, she was quiet. <laughs> She plays with a broom. It's because it like helps us like buy food. Yep. Okay. I know. Chelsea's still asleep. Sorry. Yeah. All right. My hair doesn't like to stay stay in ponytails. All right. Just dropped the girls off at their little camp this week. Um, they are all very excited to be back together. It's funny. They've only been apart for a couple months, <laughs> but they're all very excited to be together. <laughs> Um, I didn't mention it before, but um, yesterday afternoon, actually evening, Ashley suddenly came to me and she's like, Mom, I don't have stunting shoes. I grew out of them. And in my head, I've just been like, yeah, because you don't start that squad officially. Her competitive squad, she doesn't start until the fall. 
and so I haven't and I'm like I you'll I'll get shoes then like when I know you're gonna fit in them this is a stunt and tumble class or camp that she's in this week and it just didn't I didn't put two and two together so <laughs> She was like, we have to have stunt shoes. Like, I, I'm a flyer. I am I put people, you know, like, they put me in the air. I, I put people in the air. I have to have the right shoes. <laughs> but it was like 6 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Is that right? Yeah. And I just hopped on Amazon, and we just looked for any of them that would get here the next morning. And luckily, there was one pair that was still affordable. It was like 30 bucks. I knew I was gonna have to buy them anyway. It's not about the price, but one pair had shipping that would arrive between four and 8 a.m. And I'm like, we need to leave at 8.15 a.m. You cannot be late <laughs> dropping these shoes on off Amazon. And um, anyway, they were shipped and dropped off at 7 a.m. So plenty of time. Also, so I'm gonna go for my walk now. Jason's hopefully gone back to bed because um, we both woke, woke up too early. But anyway, um, just in this amount of time, since I haven't picked up the camera, I am now Ashley's. Um, unofficially, I haven't heard back from the coaches, but I am now her second coach for her um, youth football cheer, sideline cheer squad. <laughs> they haven't had a second coach since the season started well since they signed like people signed up to start and um they initially said we can't you'll have to cancel and not have a whole squad if you don't have a second coach one coach stepped up and they were like okay i think we can make it possible with one coach and like people can kind of step in and help out but that other coach she's a friend of mine she's done it before she has the same scheduling conflicts with her daughter's other cheer squad that we have with Ashley's competitive cheer squad once a week. And so I just have to like make arrangements for someone else to take Ashley and her friend Gracie over to their competitive um, practices um, so that I can stay and coach the team. So I'm a cheer coach. I'm, <laughs> I am officially a cheer coach. I don't know if they'll need me every, I, I, I might as well just do the practices and like be there all the time because I need to just learn it. I need to like learn all the cheers and it's not like I don't know them, like I, I recognize them, but just being in charge of the girls and teaching it to them is going to be a new thing. So let's go walking and then we'll keep going. Oh, and Kaylee's coming home today. So much is happening today. Kaylee is coming home today. <laughs> this is why there was no emotional goodbye when we dropped Kaylee off, in case anyone is wondering, um, because she's coming home today for a few days this week. Um, they just had some scheduling things that they needed to do. Her and Jacob are both heading, heading here, and then um, they're doing National Night Out with us tomorrow night, which is a super fun carnival in our neighborhood. It's like, a, I mean, obviously it's a national thing, but our neighborhood does a really good party, so lots happening. I'm home. I walked over five miles today. Feels really good. I just felt really good. Hey, Where are you at? I'm out front because I knew you were washing your car, oh, sorry. I was but no one opened the door for me. He's... Oh. I had to call Chelsea. You know, ringing the doorbell ten times. They're like, eh, I'm not going to answer the door. Are you almost done to yeah. help me come right the front yard? <laughs> He's like, I'm washing the, I'm, I'm going to wash my car when I told him I was heading home. And I said, yeah, I think I should, you know, I'm going to rake the front yard. And he was like, okay. Yeah. But you're supposed to say, I'll come help you. Well, what I'm going to do is pull my car in and I'm going to do some little paint chip repair. And then I'll be happy to help you with that. Why don't you help me with the front first and then do your paint chip repair? Because you're purposely trying to get as many tasks as possible. As many what? As many tasks as possible to get the job done in the front yard before you have to help. <laughs> no answer. That's that's no. A, that's an answer no. right there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And it came off, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> She's like, I just opened it. That's all I did. I to be fair, yesterday I used your bathroom, and I was like, this lid is really loose. 
So it looks like we get, no, go give it to dad. Go tell him this is another project for the I day. I texted Kaylee and was like, I did something bad. I don't know what <laughs> no, to he's, do about it. He's out doing his car. Yeah. But go let Dot out and then. Well, I've already taken out a bunch. I know, but she caught at me like when oh. she heard me coming in the backyard. All right, I've got my rakes. Um, it doesn't, like, it, it's not terrible. But I'm just going to clean up this mess. I think these little plants are officially dead. They got a few green leaves, but they're not only not growing flowers on them very much. Those are new in the past like two days, but like it's not flowering very much. So I might take them down here. Um, we'll see. I need to rake on that side. I'm just going to do the bare minimum here. I'm not going to even like rake into the um, rocks up there. Um, I'm just going to clean it up so the HOA doesn't get mad. I'm going to make a big pile, probably in the back corner over there behind those trees for Jason to come. He'll come from the side over there with the uh, yard waste bin to kind of pick it all up. So despite the fact that I have piles ready for him, he's gone ahead and found power tools. He can't help himself. He has to have power tools. He's making more work for us. No, you wanted me to do it. I, I wanted you to rake and I didn't want you to make more messes. <laughs> all right, so I need to get a broom out here um, and sweep off the porch. Um, but we've got all of this cleaned up. We are hiding that pile of leaves back behind that tree. <laughs> um, our yard waste is full. So, and we've got one little teeny tiny pile right there as well. I haven't decided if we try and get that in, but, um, so we got this side done. I raked at, like inside this little ledge area, but I dumped all the old pots. You can see down there, I dumped it all down there. So I need to go get the garbage can and the yard waste and go clean that up. But I don't think my neighbor is gonna mind because I mean, she's got like a whole tree cut up right there and it's been there for a year and a half. So I don't think she can complain about my little pile down here. And yes, that is a hubcap, thanks to Jacob. Maybe we should hide that in his car when they come today. All right, fast forward a couple hours. I've gone to get Ashley from practice. Oh, here we go. Here and we, we are at Lowe's. Her practice was a wake-up call. <laughs> they hadn't done like physical exertion yeah. her first at that comment, level. Her first comment to me was, they made us do uh, cardio or something like that uh, for 20 minutes. It's not cardio. I mean, it is cardio, but it's... it's um, it, uh, no, it's something else. What do they call it? I don't know. Um, she's very tired, and I was like, you need to go home, and you need to rest. Um... But now we are here to com to pick up commode lids. And everyone's like, I want to keep the lid. That's kind of a fun thing. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. Do you know? Do you understand? What was near this? Bed, mister. It really doesn't white need to plastic, be fancy. Plastic, white wood, fancy. white wood. What's better, plastic or wood? I, I, okay, we're going to decide. This really doesn't need to be a hard decision. I don't have a preference. It just needs to not like break. Yeah. Like that, this kind of attachment but that's, breaks all the time. It's, it's where you can slide it on easier. <laughs> we, picked a, we, we, we picked a commode cover. I think so. The Affinity White plas Plastic? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea either. It's just this part that's broken, but you have to get it all together, so. I have no idea what's the benefit. I know, I, we can't tell any difference, so. If it breaks, we'll get another one, I guess. 30 bucks. We're headed to the post office next, and I realized I had to go to the bathroom, which is really ironic, given what we're buying. <laughs> All right, we are now at Costco. We kind of flipped our plans. Kaylee made it here faster than we thought. Um, they suddenly opened up the road that they thought they couldn't take and saved them an hour and a half. We weren't supposed to get here till like 6 o'clock tonight. And so... They are here. She's dropping Jacob off at his house because Costco is not his favorite store. And we're just gonna hang out here until Kaylee gets here and um, we'll get her stocked up with a few things that, you know, we just didn't know, we didn't think about, and they don't have a Costco close by where she's at. And then we probably need to go get her some like office supplies, some school supplies, and that kind of stuff as well. So I've been making a little list. We just don't have, yeah, she has a whole list. She's like sent it to me ahead of time we've been like okay well we have some of these things at home 
we're not gonna buy a lot of these things. Like I have like a bajillion garbage cans and she needed an extra one. Um, you know, it's just like apple peeler. <laughs> it's just tiny trash can, hangers from home, which I have. So we're just gonna get her stocked up on a few things and then um, I just feel like we're just getting so much done today. We're so productive. Look at Plus me. we exercised. And I became a cheer coach. God, we have to start calling ourselves a power couple. <laughs> I think that's their job. <laughs> you guys can call us the power couple. It's not recording. <laughs> Dang it. Maybe I, maybe I recorded it. What? She's back in town. And she said it feels weird to be here. And she said it's so much colder here than there. It's 108 was the top temperature that it got to. Yeah. I mean, we did have thunderstorms and rain today, but it was Yeah, but it, that would be humid. Okay, I don't know if I'm hitting the button or not. I don't know what I'm cutting out and what I'm not. <laughs> we are just like, you don't need any of this stuff, right, Kaylee? These are the only office supply things that I could have thought of. I have a bunch of pens already. You already have some? Yeah. I got you a notebook. We did command hooks. We did all the yeah, they got we command got hooks. Our own, uh, the dollar store. I think Target might be our better bet for some of the like smaller things. Those are things I saw. But hold on, I thought I saw something happening. So she's also trying to milk us. She's like, I think we should just go up and down to every aisle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I almost did that for Walmart and I'm not doing it. Yeah, we'll give you a bunch of ziplock. I just need ziplock. She wants the one from Target. What one from Target? I don't know if it's gonna fit in your drawer though. The box. Oh, it'll fit in the drawer. All right. Well, we might be going to Target. I mean, I don't this. care. If it, it's All right. All right. I didn't really show you what we got at Costco. It got a little crazy. Um, she's looking at candles right now, so we'll stand over here. Uh, ended up getting her. Well, we're gonna share toilet paper and paper towels, and a whole bunch of carnation breakfast drinks, some cereal, monster drinks, tampons, pads. Just like stuff that'll last a long time. And now we're at Target. We're only, like we're done shopping. She's getting a candle, cause whatever. But we got chalk for our national night out tomorrow night. Um, mainly bought this whole pack. They provide chalk, but this one comes with black. And we needed one for outlining to have an edge. No pun intended, pun intended, pun intended, yes. And then she's got some office supplies, some school supplies. These little bins to hold her notebooks on her desk. Um, I'm gonna share these mechanical pencils with her and the girls. I'm really not gonna buy like back to school supplies for them because um, they just don't need it in middle school and high school. And um, and you kind of go and then like the extra things that the teachers need you to get, which I already know, it's gonna be graphing paper and um, graphing calculator, which we already have. So they don't need a whole lot. So anyway, then we got her a peeler because it's like you have to kind of live life a little bit to realize what you still need um, and then q-tips and white out so she's still smelling all the candles yeah aren't you glad it's not me looking for a candle am i peeling no it's something dusty got on Ew. your shoulder somehow weird i'm done i haven't been home home since eight o'clock this morning and i'm i'm done <laughs> i want to go home for the day i'm hungry That's hilarious. I know it's a swear word, but I think it's hilarious. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. I wasn't gonna record this, <laughs> but we were driving home and I watched the morning show on TikTok and it's the um, War of the Roses where they catch a cheater. <laughs> he kind of just, you know, like whenever I listen to it and he's like, ah, oh, this is ridiculous, but I'm listening to one and it's a good one. And we got here and he needs to move his car out of the garage and swap cars or whatever. But he was like totally staying in the car and I was like, oh honey, do you need me to uh, pause the show to <laughs> let you watch as soon as we move the cars? And he just totally paused and he realized he was caught that he actually still wants to listen to it. And he's like, oh man, you caught me. Like, uh, all right, yeah, fine. I want to listen to the end of this. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, but we're going to get everything unloaded here at home and hopefully Kaylee can just hang out with the kids for the rest of the evening. I've been resting. It's only eight o'clock. I'm, <laughs> I'm very tired. I could probably climb into bed, but um, so I've been resting for like I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Not like asleep, just couch, just scroll, scroll, scroll. 
I'm looking at it here because it was really, not windy, but like I kept seeing all my pinwheels, which I need to bring in, blowing in the wind. Anyway, I'm standing here so you can see me. Because <laughs> it's just pitch black in the house. Literally, that's how black it is in the house. Um, I haven't wanted to like pull the camera out and go and interrupt, but the girls are having so much fun upstairs. They just truly love having Kaylee home and they've been getting her bed set up. I had, so Abby has a trundle bed. And so I put the twin mattress underneath on her trundle bed that goes underneath her bed. Um, I did that last week or the week before. Finally got the trundle, the mat mattress put away and forgetting that she's gonna be here today. Um, so Kaylee got that out and got her bed set up next to Chelsea's bed again. and. Uh, I think they're setting up in the playroom upstairs. I got it all cleaned and vacuumed and stuff. I think they're setting up to like play games and watch a movie and like Jacob's not coming over. He's hanging out with his family tonight. And I haven't wanted to go upstairs or interrupt it or like anything because like they need this like sister time. Um, I mean, I wanna go up there. I wanna like see them, but I don't wanna interrupt it. Like I don't wanna like break the vibe. <laughs> it's just really cute. Maybe they can hear me talking, so I'm gonna be quiet. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.